What's up guys, Tavern here, back again with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, when we got to the village of... Uh, I forget how to pronounce it, honestly. It's been a while. But when we got here, some weird stuff happened. We met a whole bunch of folks that looked like Zidane, and then some weird stuff started happening with him. Dagger ended up fainting, so she's now resting at the end, and we're now here with Aiko, Armin, Vivi, and Kiwana. And now we want to go chase down after Zidane, who went over into this area towards an area called Pandemonium. So let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and catch up to him. As always, let me know how your day is going down in the comments section below. Let me actually talk to her first before I continue with that. Now you listen to me. Where did you take Zidane? He went on his own to see Garland. Garland? Oh, that's a sinister name. But Zidane wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went... Yes, he went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar, that's a terrible lie. I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. Hmm? We gotta tell the others. Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. Alright, well never mind, maybe we'll be able to get Freya and Steiner back with us. And Dagger, can't forget Dagger. But right now we're just Zidane, so this must be Garland's Haunted Mansion. It's not as cool as Luigi's Haunted Mansion, I must say. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. Alright, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. Alright, and we're on our own. First, let me check my equipment with him, just because it has been a good while. I think he's optimized for- no, he's not. I can put that on. Uh, is there anything else in here that he was learning? Uh, yes, you can learn this. I'll lose one strength, but it's not a big deal, considering how leveled I am. Um, nah, I'm okay with not having that. Is there anything on here you can learn? Nope. And now the accessory. I don't think there's anything important on this one, but... I would put on this power belt just so I can get that one strength back and increase my spirit. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on through here. We're flying solo, but hopefully we won't run into that many enemies. So we meet again. Hmm? Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genom gen genomes. Gosh. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I'm glad you returned. Shut up, nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer you. Let me guess, you must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down, but first you're going to tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia, and why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the ore of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. I may need your help anyway. Well, we don't really have much of a choice. Let's go ahead and follow him and see what's going on and figure out who he might be talking about. So this is Pandemonium. A plus to whoever's playing the hell out of this organ. They're doing a bang up jog. Stop! As he continues to walk. Um. Oh, okay. Jump here. Now tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. 
His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. I think we know who he's talking about, Zidane. Do you not yet, do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I never even met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. His name is Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome? Impossible! He doesn't even have a tail! He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up, I'm not like him at all. He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys. There might be some truth into that statement. His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia, that was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnatural, chaotic flow. So then, why? The destruction of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Brawl, in Brawn Ball, Kuda could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuda discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was by so I was to be your slave just like Kuja, to start a war on Gaia? That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So then why spill the blood of thousands? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition? Or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! And what exactly do you gain by disrupting the cycle of souls or whatever? We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls, fill in the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone and Terra becomes Gaia. And Gaia becomes Terra. I don't know why I said it backwards. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Ifra tree and the mist it emits. The role of the Ifra tree is that of soul divider. The mist you see comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah? But we stopped the mist. So much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Ifa tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of it as an observatory. A place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? And what is this weird light? That is the center of the planet. The end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. 
The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra and its restoration will be complete. That is why I warped up the light in the Ifa tree to prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Ifa tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was in its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, Kuja's just an angel of death who sends souls to the tree of Ifra? Yes, my angel of death, but only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. Well, now you shall be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. Hmm? Yeah, I'm aware of all that laughter, all that tears I shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power. If I only had a place to call home. My brothers in Titanilus, Vivi, Freya, Armin, Kiwana, Steiner, Iko, and... Dagger. My home is with them and Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to be punished to ins ah, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for my birth here as a genome. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up. I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel, which greets a new soul. What's happening? He's too good to make into a regular genome. But I have no choice. Ugh. Oh. Kuja's here. Perfect. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but... Soon. Soon the power will be mine alone. <laughs> Just you wait, Garland. And you too, Zidane. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you for both insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all of them. <laughs> Who am I? I don't know anything. I cannot think at all. Zidane! Yeah, I was caught that once. Oh my god, I love this song! Oh, this is my favorite part of the game, just hearing this song. Oh. Many people caught me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Yeah, maybe I do. Why, you worthless miscreant. Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me. I really learned a lot by traveling with you, Zidane. Yeah, right. I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things more important than tasty munchies. No, I don't know anything. 
call that friendship. Friendship. Friendship? Is it Dane? I don't know who I am. You were always there for me, Zidane. I'm so tired. Oh my god, I'm getting so emotional over this song. I love it so much. How come you're always so... I... I am an empty vessel. Zidane! Who? Wake up, Zidane! Who? Come on, Zidane, wake up! Oh. Zidane! Vivi? Aiko? Thank goodness you're alive. We thought you were dead. Oh. I... We were so worried. Why did you come here all by yourself? What? What are you doing here? Huh? We came to save you, of course. And it wasn't easy. You went off all alone. Leave me alone. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on! There he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Zidane. It's not just about you. Come on, Zidane. Don't be like that. Let's... Shut up! Just shut up, you stupid brat! Zidane! Zidane. Zidane, wait up! You need rest, Zidane. Will you little twits just shut up? There are some things kids can't understand. Zidane's really in a bad way right now. And it seems like no matter what they do, they can't quite get through to him yet. No matter what, the song's still gonna keep playing even into battles. I remember this thing, we actually fought it back in Trino. It's gonna use Bile, let's just go and attack normally. I don't really need to steal from any of these monsters. And I automatically go straight into trance. Although I think I was getting close to being in trance anyway. Oh, wow, that was a lot. I think, like, one more good hit's gonna knock him out for sure. Let's go ahead and do another attack. And this should finish him off. Looks like you need some help. No, not really! Because watch me finish him off right here. Okay, never mind. Let's just say, for argument's sake, I did need to help. Okay, I, just one more time. Wait, can you even take care of yourself? Bro, I was about to kill this thing. In fact, okay, no, you're still going to be alive because you think I'm not tough enough. But at least they're coming to back us up. Still get EXP and AP though, even though mostly this is cutscene related. How foolish of you to go alone. <clears throat> Damn hypocrite. Always talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Zidane! Okay, I, I had to stop right here, because otherwise, if I keep going, I'm just going to get too absorbed in the song, and I'm not going to let this video drag on for a lot longer. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the next one, we'll continue through Pandemonium. 
and hopefully everyone will be able to get through to Zidane and snap them out of this funk and we'll still keep hearing more of this awesome soundtrack so thank you guys for watching let me know your dates going down in the comments below and i will talk i'll see you guys in the next one so take care everyone